All right, this one's gonna be for CMOS users. In the news version, uh, which is 2.8, they actually have a feature for multiple playlists, which a lot of CMOS users always wanted, and now it is here. So I'll show you how to use it here. So, uh, what was that one? It's in your number three, your uh, playlist view here. And in here, um, by default, they only have like, you know, one, which is called default. But if you wanna add in your own, um, you know, you can actually hit uh, colon. So shift and colon here, and you see at the bottom here, this is where you write, you know, type in your command. So I'm gonna do shift colon and then PL dash. And you can actually hit tab, you know, to cycle through them here. But uh, we're gonna use the one that says create, and then we're gonna type in a name for it. So we just call this one uh, best songs, right? How about that? And now you have your playlist here, and it's empty, right? So uh, you know, add stuff to it. So uh, the way that you want to add to it is that you see this little star next to uh, this default playlist here. You want to change that, and to do that, you just go down to the playlist that you want to change it to as the default, and you hit space. And now the star is at the you know the ones that uh, the playlist you want to use. And now you can actually add in um, you know your songs that you wanted to. Uh, listen to for that playlist so let's go to any of your view you can you hit one here to go into your tree view here and in here you can just select your songs so for example this one i'll hit uh y right and let's say i pick another one here y y whatever it is and i hit three here and you add those uh three songs you know to your list right you can do this with your other view too. So let's see uh, your, I think this one's called a sort view, but I think I call it the library view because it says library at the top. Uh, and here you can do the same thing. Hit Just hit Y, you know, Y, Y. And then you go back to your playlist view and you can see that it's added to that playlist. And it will actually save this uh, when you, you know, quit out of CMOS and all that. So that's how you would use this real easy. And if you want to like uh, delete songs, you know, you can say hit D if you want uh, from your playlist. If you want to actually delete the playlist, um, you know, this one here, let's say you don't want uh, this playlist anymore. You basically just hit delete key here. And you see at the bottom, it'll say uh, delete selected playlist. And it'll give you an option of yes or no. You just hit Y for yes and it'll delete it, right? Um, so that's pretty much it, really. And the other thing that I would use this for is um, since CMOS can play uh, radio stations, you can actually add in your own, uh, you know, uh, radio kind of thing. So let's go grab a radio station to add stuff to this, right? And we're gonna use our uh, surfer program and we're gonna use, what is that, internet radio? And which is in search 90s uh, stations only. And basically in here, we're gonna grab uh, either the PLS or the M3U link. So we'll copy that, we'll do a YY here, and we'll go back to this. And make sure uh, the playlist that you're using, you know, you have to have like the little star next to it, otherwise it will not add it to the correct uh, playlist. <clears throat> but how you do this here, you basically just do a shift colon and then you hit, you know, you type in add and then you paste in that link here. Now this one has like a, what is that? Like a kind of like a, a referral link or whatever, but you want to delete those crap and just get the main one here, right? So this one here and we'll add that. And look at that, it adds it right here, this one here. And we can play it, but I don't I don't want to get copyright, so let me mute this thing here first. Right, but look at this, we're playing it. Right, so there you go, it's playing. And this one is streaming, you know, from that uh, radio station right here, right, uh, and all that. But yeah, there you go, that's how you would do radio also. If you don't want to use another program for radio, you can actually just use CMOS to stream, uh, you know, your internet uh, stations, right? 
and that's pretty much how you would use it or that's pretty much how I use it for radio because uh, in the past I was using another one for radio although the other ones were better than this one for radio because uh, this one you actually can't not rename the stations to your liking it automatically uh, uses whatever that radio station you know the, the names that they're using for it so it's kind of annoying if you're using this way it's not the best way to do radio but you know this one's mainly for just uh, music really right your local music that is anywho that's how you would use this uh, playlist feature multiple playlist feature for CMOS uh, as far as if you're a new user to uh, CMOS just watch my uh, first video I'll link you in the description if you want to know how to use it and this is my favorite uh, music player when I'm on uh, you know my Linux system that'd be it for this one